there's a, always an abundance mindset with me. So I love that we're doing this and that we're being we're able to give back to others because again, abundance mindset is how I operate and that's how everyone should. Hey guys, I'm super excited to have a special guest with you today. Sean Batista, who's up in the Seattle Bellevue area, is here to give us some real amazing information about everything that's happening in his market. Also to going through what's happening in San Diego. As you guys know, it's been a kind of a transitionary market right now. We're going into that fall time frame when, you know, things don't move very much. You've got November coming up here. And once we hit Thanksgiving all the way until the beginning of next year, that's the holiday time frame. That's when things just really start to slow down, but that makes it a buyer's market. The opportunities are going to be out there. If you're looking to buy towards the end of the year, you're going to have a lot of sellers that are looking to move. Any offer that comes during the holidays is a good offer as far as the seller is concerned. But without further ado, I want to give Sean a chance to introduce himself, where he's at in this world and what he's been doing here in the recent future. So Sean, take it away. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Christian, for having me on today and I'm honored to be a guest and to just share who am I to your audience, just a little bit of backstory about myself. I got into real estate eight years ago, um, but prior to that, I was in the car business. I sold cars, I worked in as a finance manager, and I was just in the business of dealing with people and sales all my life. And then I made that transition in 2016 of May and it's been a wild ride, I would say, since uh, since doing this, since starting till to where I am today. But um, yeah, I, I've I've always been uh, talk. I, I was always like always around people. So that just being around people, learning how people operate, how how people uh, make decisions. It's I, I I studied by just seeing thousands and thousands of people daily and i help I, I feel like it's helped me transition into this career of real estate um because real estate's a people business and so that's where i feel like my skill is is where i i know how to read people i know how to make mimic people and um yeah i, I know the psychology of how they think so, definitely and for for those of you who don't know, I came across Sean um, on social media uh, from his YouTube channel, and he's got a twin, the Batista Twins YouTube channel that's out there, and he's an amazing social media influencer. I mean, I'd call him an influencer for sure. He's got 35,000 plus followers on Instagram. Um, I'll make sure that I throw that up here at the end of the video so that you guys can follow him as well. Um, over 150,000 people are following this guy on TikTok as well, and we've been talking all about social social media, how to use it in order to sell homes, to help people find homes, to buy, to inform people about your neighborhood and what's going on and what's happening. And so, Sean, why don't you give everybody in, in a little taste of what you guys do on, on Instagram and YouTube and everything else that's, else that's out there right now? Yeah, so what, what we've done, and this has definitely happened, it's an evolution over time as if you, if you scroll all the way back to my very first post of... Um, getting on social media as a real estate agent because prior to that everyone knew me as okay Sean worked at BMW Sean was a BMW guy so how can I rebrand myself into okay now you change careers now you're in real estate and so the first day actually first day of me um, becoming a licensed realtor I had an open house and I just filmed a really blurry video of myself just at one of my not even my listing it was a 200 and i think 200 it was a two hundred thousand dollar listing a small little like condo i would say small little condo kind of cool but two hundred thousand dollars it was a tiny studio and i filmed myself opening up the garage of this little it, it, it it's like it was a weird property it had its own garage like it it opened up but then it would open up to like your living space and then the kitchen was right behind but i just i got on video even though i hated it and i i put myself out there and then i started just even though they suck the video suck i still just kept showing up and so throughout then over time the videos got better and better and our marketing got better and i partnered with one of my friends that that 
that was doing these highly cinematic tours and nobody was putting this out by the way back then not not very many i should say not very many agents so put it put videos out there especially with them in it showcasing the homes typically it would just be a home tour by itself but we would include ourselves so my brother and i would put on suits we love fashion we love clothes and we what better way to brand ourselves because nobody in washington wears suits um everyone's in patagonia or uh, i don't you you know the mountain hiking gear over here and you you shouldn't know actually because you're in sunny san diego but everyone's wearing all the uh, <laughs> north face jackets and whatnot here but my brother and i we put on suits we started getting in front of multi-million dollar homes listings we would ask other agents hey can we hold your opens they trusted us and that's how we built our businesses through social media and through video through video yeah. content and yeah, you guys have done an amazing would, job with that so it's been it's been fun to just go back and see your posts and you know some of the old things that you do and some of the things that you do now and for those people who don't know you know we talked about it today on our coaching session about how many sellers want to see their homes showcased on social media, especially the big audiences like you guys have got, right? I mean, you've got 200,000 plus people that are watching you up there in the Seattle area. And those people are getting their their news, their notifications, all of their information from, you know, feeds like yours on Instagram. And it's just, uh, it's interesting to see the change in dynamics and things. I mean, I've got 13,000 plus, you know, subscribers here on YouTube um, and, you know, 10, 15,000 on X Twitter as well. But I'm trying to get more broad in into the Instagram, into the TikTok, into the short form social media, which is a an art form unto itself. And you guys have done a great <laughs> job with that. I mean, talk a little bit more Thank about you. what you've done and how you've gotten there. Yeah, it, 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 it was all about just getting out of my comfort zone because this didn't happen naturally. Like I, I, I was not uh, a guy that could show up on camera and speak on camera. This was a Again, it was an evolution of myself. It, and a lot of people get this um, get this concept misunderstood is that if I, okay, you could learn how to use social media, but I had to learn how to work my mindset in order to be consistent on social media. So what I first developed was myself personally, so I can actually show up on camera and provide that value because without the mindset, 80, I, I believe it's 80% mindset and 20% just the doings of doing things. But the mindset, I put in a lot of work in the mindset in order to get to where I am on these platforms, because it's literally a marathon. Like people, I see many, many agents posting here and there, and they'll, they'll get consistent for a week, they'll get consistent for a month, maybe even a year, but then all of a sudden fall off. This is yeah. a long game. And so I, I took this and I understood that if I put in the work and I'm consistent over a long period of time, the results will happen. I wasn't looking for results immediately. I just knew that I had to put in the work. And this is a concept that I like to put is just like going to the gym. I like using that as an example. Uh, I love fitness and many people want to achieve a six pack. Let's just say they want to achieve a six pack or they want to lose a certain amount of weight. You can, you can know how to bench press. You can know how to do all the squats. You can know how to do every single thing. But if you don't get your ass up to the gym and actually go there and put in the repetition, nothing's going to happen. So I treat this the same way as I treat social media and in every aspect of my life. Yeah, it's definitely helped. I mean, you guys now have sold, you know, multi hundreds of millions of dollars of homes. And, um, you know, that I backstory for me is that, you know, I bought my first property in 94 um, before there was typically even anything to do with, you know, Internet, social media. You know, I, I built my own websites back in 2002 to showcase, you know, our listings and, you know, the things that we were doing. And fast forward to today, guys, and it's like I've built up a social media presence on YouTube, um, mainly from crypto 
crypto channels and other things that I've done in the past, but getting back into the real estate side of the business has been, you know, it's been fun. It's been interesting to see the the way that things have evolved over the last even four or five years here ever since the pandemic and how people now are showcasing their properties in short form video. So having somebody like Sean on your side is, uh, is an amazing asset and he's been teaching me so much. In fact, I just managed to get my first viral video, you know, last week and I'm so excited about that. The, the Gaylord Resorts here in, in Chula oh, Vista. Yeah. So I was super excited to see 107,000, you know, uh, video views. 108, now. I still think. 108,000. <laughs> and I saw 6,500 plus shares. How powerful is that? Amazing. Yeah. I mean, talk a little bit more about what you guys do and how you've built your brand over the last three, four, yeah. five years here on Instagram and everything that you're doing. Yeah. So we, we wanted to just see how are we speaking to our audience? We wanted to know, okay, how are we speaking to our audience? How are we showing up? Do we have credibility? Even if we were just getting started out, even starting out as a brand new agent, did I, how can I build the credibility for someone to trust me? And how I did that was number one, I had to first figure out my five pillars of how I want to post and the type of lifestyle I wanted to post and the, the type of educational post that I'd post throughout, um, throughout, throughout the years. And so I, I wanted to know, I, I wanted to make sure I educated people. And I also wanted to showcase, um, a lifestyle through, through, um, through posting even photos. Cause Eva, before then it used to be pictures, picture ev uh, evolution of photos only through Instagram. So only p pictures, some video was here and there, but it would be photos. But I, I put this around my interests that I like, the things that I like that make me who I am. And so what that is, is I love cars. I grew up with cars. I love it, it, it. I didn't grow up with fancy cars, by the way. So all these 911s, these weren't here before. I had an 89 240SX and I worked on cars with my friends. I went to the racetracks all the time. I went to the racetrack and I raced cars and that was the thing. That was a hobby. And so I would post about my hobbies. Other people would connect with that. Other people have same interests. So, um, when I post, I want to make sure that I'm authentic to myself. That was just one pillar. Another pillar was just fashion. We're fashionable guys. We like to wear suits. We like to get dressed up. And so when we would post ourselves in front of multi-million dollar listings and doing open houses in suits, nobody else was doing that. That would attract high-end clientele. We've represented NBA stars, NFL stars multiple times multiple times on occasion just because of our social media posts and i i wanted to bring the stats up to you uh i'll, I'll bring the stats up to you later but this is literally how i how we got started was just not caring about what what other people think because that's what usually stops uh, agents from posting is because they think that it'll look dumb or people will make fun of them but we knew that if someone was talking about us, that we were getting the attention. And that's what we want with social media is you want the attention on you. So if people aren't hating on you, that means that you're not doing anything that's worthy enough of paying attention to. So once I started getting the eyeballs on us, we just kept going and going and going and going. And it's been nonstop. Yeah, you guys have done such a great job with it. I mean, I think everybody starts off in social media with no clue what it is they're doing. You know, they take a picture of their cat or their dog and they post it and they hope that somebody will give them a like. And then you find out really quickly what people really enjoy seeing and what people, you know, don't really like. And um, it becomes an art form. We kind of talked about that a little bit, you know, where you constantly are trying to evolve. You're trying to get one step better. You're trying to make things a little bit cooler to watch, you know, for your followers, you know, things that are fun for buyers and sellers to watch as well, things that are fun for, you know, kind of putting you as that expert in a certain area, in a certain niche that you really know about now. Now that you guys are experts up in your area, you can really purvey that knowledge. You can show it to other people that don't know, you know, what's going on in Bellevue or Seattle or wherever it is that you want to really target that niche to. Um, I find that in Chula Vista here where I am, it's great because so many people think that Chula Vista is just this, you know, small little town right next to Tijuana that, you know, has been a 
you know, taken over over the last, you know, 20 years by Hispanics or whatever it is that they think. And I show them East Lake and these $5 million homes. And I show them all of the really cool things that I've done over the last 40 years that make Chula Vista such a, an amazing place to me that the schools now that are, you know, just award winning that, that are ranked so high in California when it comes to test scores and, you know, kids going to Ivy League schools and everything else. And now that my kids are in high school, I'm just like, yeah, there's just so much for families to do. I grew up along the coast, right? I, I spent my, my, uh, college years in Pacific Beach and in Del Mar and La Jolla, had a great time on the beach, but now I can really focus down on the little things that really make the neighborhood so much cooler. And I can share that with people. So when they're moving, um, you know, buying or selling a house, they're like, hey, KP knows exactly what's going on over here. We should probably talk to him. He can get us a deal or he can sell our house for a little bit more. But that's the really cool thing about social media. I think that people just don't understand is that you personally, Sean Batista, can explain to people like, here's what I can do that, you know, this other guy over here is not going to do for you. So yeah, tell them a little bit about like how you guys have niched into your particular market, how you kind of carve that out so that now when people are searching, they see you first. Yeah. So it all started off with, cause we didn't start off obviously selling luxury homes or high end homes. We, like I said, when I was doing that video, it was a $200,000 little home that, we, that I was in front of. Um, but I had a chat with my brother and we, I, I told him, I don't, I don't see myself at this hundred percent company. It doesn't align with who we are as a brand. And it, it just wasn't the company that I believed in. And we said, okay, how can we level up the people around us? And so my brother re was doing the research and he found this group of this really small group. It was a boutique luxury brokerage called Avenue Properties. And men my mentors always said, if you want to level up, you got to put yourself around the people that are already doing it. And these people were the top five agents in the state, in the state. And we had the number one agent mentoring us. And she she truly did an amazing job. And I'm really, really grateful for all the opportunities that she gave us. So I would say we got in front of them. We presented ourselves as like as we can showcase five million, ten million dollar homes by showing up clean. I'm look I look trustworthy and the way we were speaking was trustworthy as well. OK, and what other people were saying about us was trustworthy. OK, these guys are good kids. So we got in front of the mentors. They put us in a position. Okay, you hold these opens every weekend. As we would hold these opens, I would take content. We would shoot each other. We, he would shoot me. I would shoot him. We would take photos. We would be, take a, a bunch of stories and showcase these multi-million dollar homes. From there, everybody thought, okay, whoa how did these guys go from little two hundred thousand dollar houses to like five ten million all of a sudden and then next thing you know the more posts we did the more clients came over to uh the more clients would reach out to us on social mm -hmm. media yeah, the more it's amazing how that works, get. right? Yeah, and, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the referral game because a lot of you guys that are probably out there watching right now are real estate professionals in different parts of the country or different parts of the world even. Um, and what I found you know, ever since I joined Keller Williams and, and opened up Keller Williams offices back in the early 2000s is um, we had such a big referral network, you know, tens of thousands of agents worldwide. And when you really niche down into your particular area, other agents everywhere in the the world will see that and they'll be like, hey, KP, hey, Sean, I want you to handle my client who's moving to your area because you're the area expert there. I love that. We still get, you know, a dozen, you know, 15, 16 referrals every single year from agents that are outside of our area. And we always pay, you know, nice referral bonuses to our agents, usually 30%. And I love that nice. because they send us these amazing clients that are buying in our area that we can help and showcase our expertise to. And it just is, it's, reciprocal too. So if we have a, a buyer or a seller that's moving to a different part of the country or a different part of the world, now we've got a huge referral network of agents, you know, professionals, real estate brokers all over the world that we can depend on. And we can say, hey, I might be the expert in my area, but this guy or this gal is an amazing real estate broker 
were in Boca Raton, Florida, or Austin, Texas, or New York City, or wherever. I mean, how many referrals? I know that you guys have a really big network at EXP, but how many referrals in your oh. referral network? What does that look like right now? Oh my gosh, it's huge. This this plays a huge part in our business is ref, the for referrals. And the reason why we focus on this, and it's not even just EXP, other EXP agents that are sending us deals. It's other agents that see our, the way we present homes, the way we show up on social media. Like I was telling you, we've gotten NBA clients from other agents. I've closed a four million dollar buyer or yeah I, I closed a four million dollar transaction just because another agent trusted me based off of the post that i made so it's a huge thing and i believe in referrals because it's a 30 to 70 percent closing ratio and this is why i don't focus on any other aspects of just of lead generation like door knocking or call, call cold calling it's it's sphere of influence and referrals and these referrals is a, it's a 30 to 70 percent closing ratio but yeah I the was, moment they I meet was... me it's a hundred honestly <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving you national averages Right, right. I mean, it's it's great because people get a chance to know us through our social media. And even if it's not a referral from another real estate professional, it's somebody out there like you right now who's watching this, who's thinking like, hey, you know what? KP sounds like a pretty good guy. He's lived in, you know, Chula Vista for over 40 years. He knows San Diego, you know, forwards and backwards. Or Sean, uh, you know, I'm moving to Seattle or the Seattle area. I don't know much about it. Maybe you can help me figure it out. And when people come to us, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, they know us, right? They already think that they, they know us from our content that we put out there. And that's great. I've had so many people that have come up to me and said, hey, KP, I, I love the video that you did on this. Or, you know, I love that you posted on that. And I'm like, I, I don't know you. This is the first time I'm meeting you. But you've already built that relationship over time by not even knowing it. I mean, that's a great portion of social media too, right? It sure is. It, it really is. The beauty about social media is you could show who you are. And instantly, the mo moment people keep watching your videos if you're consistent they can get to know like and trust you and this is the part this is part of sales if someone knows likes and trusts you they will do business with you they will refer you deals and this is the best type of client that you want because you're attracting that client to you instead of having to chase having a cold call i've cold called i've door knocked and i've done all of those zillow leads paid for ads but this is the absolute way to do business yeah, it's, it's such a great way to go out there and let people know, even if you're brand new in real estate, it shows that you're really hustling. You're going out there. You're understanding what the market is. We were talking about, you know, this a couple of days ago is just, you know, you can go to broker open houses. You can go to, you know, see brand new homes, new home tours in your area. You can go and look at other people's listings. You can showcase them and you can give them exposure for their sellers or, you know, their listings. And they're going to be thankful for it. All they're looking for is that right buyer to come along and make an offer on it. And then it showcases your experience of like, okay, I'm not just sitting here on my butt all day like trying to you know trying to figure out what this game is no i'm going out there i'm doing the work i'm hustling i'm figuring this stuff out as we go nobody's born a real estate agent or a real estate broker you figure it out as you go and there's going to be so many services out there that are trying to sell you something if you buy this product or if you do this you're going to get more you know leads you're going to get more sales you're going to get whatever it is but bottom line is guys you go out there and you put in the work you make the videos you make the content you make it a little bit better every single time and guess who sees it those people that really want you to help them with one of the biggest purchases or transactions that they're ever going to do in their life because they trust you they know that maybe you're not even that experienced but you're going out there and you're trying you you're associating yourselves with people like sean you know myself other professionals out there that are going to help you if you've got a question if you need an answer you know i know that i can go to the california association of realtors legal hotline ask an attorney anytime that I want and get that information that I may or may not know so that I save my client possibly hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. And that's the things that people really need to understand is that we're constantly learning too. We're constantly evolving our game. We've got to get better 
every single day. So talking to somebody like Sean and Garth, who I'm going to have on later, who you'll hear from, these guys are just, they're professionals. They know what they're doing. They know that they're constantly trying to get better. And that's what I like is to educate yourself, get a little bit better the, today than you were yesterday. And you're going to evolve over time and it's going to see the the real big effects. And it's, just, it's a long game, you know, just like Sean was saying, right? I mean, this is not something that happens overnight, but you continually build that muscle memory. You make yourself a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better. Next thing you know, you look back and you go, wow, um, yeah, all these all these people want to buy or sell homes with me now. And um, now I need a team, right? Now I need to surround myself with uh, with other great people. And we'll talk about that <laughs> on another episode. But yeah. yeah, why don't you give everybody some insight to, you know, where it is right now you are with your real estate business and where do you want to take it, you know, maybe in the next couple of years here? Yeah. So right now, my brother and I, we we do our business and then we have a core team of eight here in Washington um, where where we focus and we we have them taking care of all of our leads, all of our Instagram, TikTok leads and whatnot. Um, as far as where I see myself going um, is we we're moving, we're focused on more in the investing side now. So we've been investing in properties and whatnot, but also we're also inspiring other agents like like who we were in when we first got started, like who who I was when I first got started. We're inspiring other agents to go out there, believe in themselves and that they can do the same exact things that we're doing. And so we're we're helping a lot of these kids nowadays they're 20 21 22 years old um they're half my age and they are getting out there they're putting in the work and I, and I love seeing other people grow and so this is where I I see myself is just leading others and giving back uh what I've learned what p other people what my mentors taught me now I could teach others to do the same <laughs> That's great. I love that because, you know, I think back to all the people that I've trained over the years and how many of them are now multi, you know, hundred million, if not billion dollar producers over time. You know, you, I, I know some of you are probably watching right now, but I've worked with, you know, I mentored people like, you know, Kurt Wanabo and, and Brian Rule, Rachel Crawford, and lots of people that are out there that have made, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars of real estate transactions over the year. And, and, and it's fulfilling. It's really fun to watch. You know, I, I got out of the sales side of the business for a while. I went into did a couple of other things. I've been investing my entire career, which is great. I always invite you guys to reach out to me if you want to invest. I mean, Sean and I, and there's so many other people, we get inundated with deals. Like deals come across our desk every single day. I just saw two more today and people are getting a little bit more flexible on their pricing and terms. And I'm just looking at some of these going like, wow, this has actually got some room. It's got some, uh, you know, it's got some, uh, some meat on the bones there. So there are some good deals coming across and I love multifamily real estate as well. Buying those apartment buildings, holding on to them for long-term appreciation and depreciation and tax advantages as well. But what types of investments are you guys looking at? Are they in different parts of the country? or what, what are you doing right now on the investment yeah. side of the game? It, it, we, we have actually two, um, I have two units in Miami that are going to be completed in about seven months. Um, so we're, we're out outside of Washington, but I also have properties here in Washington state. So we're looking at properties here, um, either depending on the pricing and depending on the numbers, either we, we will flip it or we will develop that property because right now the zoning codes in Seattle are are allowing you to add uh, another home or another detached unit on what is already a single family property. And so you could have two units on one, add value by doing that and developing um, detached ADUs. So th those, are th those are the things that we're into. Um, it's a fun game. There's so many ways to to earn money making real estate and it's just running the numbers and if the numbers make sense and then you take the risk and it's all about taking the risk. Definitely, definitely. And those are great points. And, you know, being in real estate for such a long time, we work with people in San Diego, like Ruland Design Group, Audrey Ruland, who's one of our close personal friends. She's great. She's done hundreds, if not thousands now of ADUs in San Diego County. Um, and there's so many other resources that we come across too. And Sean was just mentioning that, you know, adding value to real estate is one of the most impressive and one of the nicest, coolest things that you can do because everybody watches, you know, those shows on TV. In fact, our episode is still one of the most highly 
highly um, viewed shows on our YouTube channel. I think 75,000 people have saw our Flip That House episode all the way back from 2005. But, you know, who doesn't love going into something, going into a project, right? Finding that needle in a haystack, finding that diamond in the rough and adding a new kitchen or, you know, converting it, adding those floors, making it just, you know, the perfect home and then either turning around and selling it or renting it out and, and making cash flow from it. I mean, those are the things that really are fun, right? It is fun. It, it sure is fun. And th the beauty about this is I have my my wifey, Flavia, is, she owns a staging company, but she's also an interior designer. And so it makes a world of a difference to have someone like her to take a look at what needs to be done. Okay, this could be this and turn something that's like a total shithole into a gem and she has real talent so i love having a partner like that in life it's like the perfect combination yeah, we're both lucky. My wife too, Cara, is an amazing interior designer. She helped Audrey and Chris basically remodel their entire ADU. We went to you know the Stonework Granite and got some quartz countertops, and we did all the uh, backsplash and the subway tiles. And she just you know she knows what goes with. It. She doesn't give me any say in the thing because she's like you know you're the husband, you stand over there. I'll take care of all the interior design work. But it's nice to have people with that eye for design, not only design but it adds so much value to the property, right? It's like kitchens and bathrooms are what sell properties right it's not there's nothing there's it's not a difficult thing to look at you know the kitchen the the family's going to walk in there it's going to be the hub of everything it's the heart of the house if you've got a great kitchen that's going to be the main selling point and then if you've got a nice bathroom especially the master suite that you can show off perfect all everything else is just a you know a bedroom or you know a living area but those two things really make a huge difference um that, anything else that, that you want to add here sean before we finish up um no there, there there's not uh nothing nothing off the top of my head that i could think of right now but um we we could jam out on another on another conversation about statistics on how how social media works over other lead generation tactics and whatnot Definitely. Well, Sean, I will definitely have you back on again. Um, Sean has been a coach to me now for about a month. We're going on. I got my first viral Instagram reel, so I'm so super psyched about that. Um, I'll have Garth Ward on, who is his partner as far as the coaching program goes. If you guys need any expert social media coaching like I did, especially for Instagram, TikTok, short form media, I highly recommend them. They're amazing, amazing people. If somebody wants to reach out and get in touch with you why don't you give them the best way to do that Sean? yeah absolutely they could they could actually reach me uh, on instagram i'm that's where i i have my time and focus and that's where i uh spend my time interacting with just the community and so they could dm me they could they could find me sean and bautista and it's you could search bautista twins and you'll you'll find me it's pretty easy Awesome. And I'll put the description, uh, the link yeah. into his Instagram, TikTok, everything in the description down below as well. Um, thanks so much for coming on. I know that we had this scheduled a couple of times and I definitely want to have you yeah. come back and we'll have Garth on as well. Have a couple of more jam sessions together where we can chat about anything. If you guys heard anything that you liked or interests you or piques your interest, put a comment down below. Let us know what that is and we'll do a future episode about everything that makes you guys um, interested in what it is that we have to say. Obviously, Obviously, I want to get people on from different parts of the country as well so that if you're an expert in any place in the world, would love to have you on the channel to chat about what it is that you're doing, how it is that you're doing it a little bit differently, what it is that's exciting you about real estate here over the next couple of years. Let's grow this into an amazing community of social media influencers that can all chat, can all jam about what's doing, you know, what they're doing with social media when it comes to real estate and we'll all become better for it. Awesome. Any final partying words of wisdom here sean before we finish up you know you, you said it best right there closing up it's all about collaborating i i believe it's all about collaboration i i have no there's no competition i it, there's always an abundance mindset with me so i love that we're doing this and that we're being we're able to give back to others because again abundance mindset is how i operate and that's how everyone should but great way to close that out i love it